first affiliate arc ends with a heartfelt hug from the father and son. Yeah, but like, I'm so sorry for abandoning you and your mother. I'm gonna go back to the country and you know start working for your college education. Starts so giving Daniel's mom back shots. <laughs> His little brother comes out next chapter. All right, what's up, guys? It's Anime Irudai here, and today we're gonna be talking about the secret behind Daniel's second body. Today, I'm joined by an awesome Lookism creator, VMAT. Go ahead and introduce yourself, VMAT. Hey everyone, I'm VMAT. Some people might not who know who I am, but I'm an up and coming Lookism creator. Thank you so much for Anime Erudite for giving me this opportunity. Coming on to discuss some theories we have about Daniel's second body. So yeah, let's jump into this. So after the release of chapter 470 in the aftermath of the Jin Yong vs UI Daniel fight, we get a scene where OG Daniel is speaking to Big Daniel and Big Daniel warns him about Jake's brother coming to Seoul and that they have to take down Charles Choi's first. This has the whole Lookism community coming up with more theories about the second body because the second body seemed a lot older and it also knew about Jake's brother, implying that it has memories and could have been a real person at some point. All right, so we're gonna be discussing three theories today. So go ahead and tell us about future Daniel theory, VMAT. All right, so I think the first theory that we have is probably one of the most popular right now, especially on Reddit, we see it a lot. It's called the Future Daniel Theory, and basically this theory says that the perfect body and OG Daniel are the same person, but uh, the second body is from the future. This means that in the original timeline, let's say there's a whole another alternate timeline where Daniel didn't get a second body. Through sheer determination, he grows by himself to this strong, you know, perfect guy body, and whatever happens, he loses to Charles Troy in the end. And this perfect Daniel goes back in time to give himself the second body and guides him with the second body to warn him about, you know, Jake's brother, Charles Choi, and whatever they're scheming. Because he couldn't do it himself. So he has to rely on himself in the past so they both can go ahead and defeat Charles Choi in the end. Well, I like this one a lot because it introduces time travel, which is always fun to see, time travel in fiction. And... You know, I do like the idea of the future theory because we do see that Daniel looks very similar to, you know, his second body. So he's probably the same person. A lot of people also say it's his fullest potential, right? So it does make sense because right now he's starting to look a lot more like his body. And him being at the fullest potential means he's probably like at the latest development in the future. So what do you think about this theory, anime, erudite? Okay, so at first when, you know, the whole future thing was kind of introduced, I didn't really... I didn't really think that much of it because I was like, this is lookism, right? There's a lot of kind of unbelievable things in there, like teenage super soldiers and whatnot. But the whole future thing seemed kind of far-fetched. But now that you talked about it, it kind of makes sense because if Big Daniel was from a, another timeline or something from the future and somehow ended up with little Daniel before he became, you know, who he is, it could kind of explain how it doesn't necessarily the second body doesn't necessarily have a soul and has to switch consciousness back and forth for it, like OG Daniel and then Big Daniel. So that kind of give it some merit because like if you're traveling back in time or something like that, right, you wouldn't be able to be conscious, two of you be conscious at the same place. So yeah, maybe like you don't belong in that timeline because another version of you already exists or something like that. And he just can't control himself like in the body. So it makes sense they also look very similar so it's probably another version of daniel maybe not in the future maybe just like an alternate timeline or something that could explain it too because they do really looks very similar okay so my favorite theory is that daniel is a clone of gene young and this is the one i think is most likely right and this is where me and v kind of disagree so i'm going to tell you about it and then v is going to tell you guys about his favorite theory and you guys can tell us in the comments which one you think is the best okay so my theory is that daniel is a clone of gene young and somebody else from the pre-generation it could be daniel's dad maybe gabriel and kim or somebody else because what are the chances that daniel is the only person that could use the perfect body and the perfect body also has a copy ability. So does Daniel and Jin Yong. The only other person who has copy in the whole verse is Johan, but he's not related to them at all. So I think there's a connection between the perfect body, little Daniel and Jin Yong Park. It could be that Jin Yong's his dad, but I feel like that's a little too cliche for PTJ to do and make Jin Yong Daniel's dad. 
So it could be that Jin Yong is Daniel's uncle. And in order for someone to use the perfect body, they have to have some type of blood relation to either Jin Yong or the other person that the perfect body is a clone of. So that's my theory. What do you think? Yeah, see, I don't, I don't understand because what I think, right, like um, the clone theory, I like the idea that, you know, it involves Jin Young, who's supposed to be an important character in the series. But also, like, we've seen Jin Young interact with the second body multiple times. So wouldn't he know about the clone? Like, wouldn't, wouldn't he he know that there's a clone of him somewhere or, like, this this body exists? Because he seemed pretty clueless when he was examining Daniel in the, in the medical room. He's like, oh, this body is perfect. I want to experiment more on this guy. But, like, he should know, right? Yeah, I think that's also a thing. Like, he may not know about it, right? Uh, because... Honestly, we've just seen Jin Young. He has no knowledge. Yeah, it could be a clone made without his knowledge. Because if you remember during your iceberg video, uh, when I when we were talking about what are some theories we could put for that video, and I drew showed you that picture of Jin Young in Big Daniel in heat mode. And if you drew some wrinkles on Big Daniel, it's literally a younger version of Jin Young, right? That means that he's his dad, dude. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think that means he's Daniel's dad, but rather that perfect daniel is a clone of jin yong but he doesn't know that and remember i don't think ptj really took everything into consideration because when big daniel revealed to jin yong that he has a second body jin yong kind of muffled the phone so eugene didn't hear what he was saying but at the same time he's confused on why the perfect body is like resistance on his drugs and you know all that stuff right it seems like he doesn't completely know everything about the perfect body. Yeah, but also it seems like he knew of someone else who had the perfect body, who had two bodies as well. Maybe that be, you know, Charles Choi or someone. The theory needs to involve Jin Young, I guess, because it has to involve something with the pre-generation that Jin Young has some knowledge on, but maybe not full knowledge on. The secret behind the second body could also be something that only Charles Troy's knows about. And if you were going to make a second body of some somebody, it would have to be the strongest person that you know. And with Gapriel and Kim dead, you know, who's the second strongest person that Charles Troy's may know of, which is Jin Young. So I think, plus Jin Young also has the copy ability. So that would be the perfect person to make a clone of and perhaps use that body to kind of do whatever you you desire really yeah man I, just talking about this i'm just getting more confused bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it is a kind of far-fetched theory because this isn't like attack on titan where isayama kind of had everything playing out since the first episode of attack on titan yeah. yeah so it really makes me believe that ptj is really making this up as he goes along because there's not really much foreshadowing to any big reveals really so that's why i think like every theory we, we talk about is gonna seem a little bit far-fetched or or crazy because there's not much evidence to support it but that's just my thoughts going on your theory but vmat okay the third theory this is a vmat creation og vmat theory so i just thought of this myself uh -huh. <laughs> it's the past theory so so you know we have the future theory and then we have the past theory and i don't even have a script in front of me but I'll just explain it. The the past theory I think is that this body used to have a consciousness back in the day. Because in the pre in the last chapter, you know, he's like, oh, watch out for Jake's brother. But that means he has to have connections to Jake's brother who was active right. in the past. This means that this guy, whoever this guy is who is lending Daniel's body, used to be a prominent figure in the first generation or maybe pre-generation. Probably first generation because he's clashed with Jake's brother. He was trying to stop the evils of Charles Choi, Jake's brother, James Lee, and he failed. Maybe he tried to protect Gapriang or something, and he failed in that. And maybe they both got killed. No one's talked about him yet, which is also not good because there's no foreshadowing, but I think he was active during this time, and he lost the, the great battle. Maybe he's Daniel's older brother. Yo, maybe he's Jin Young's son. Maybe he's Daniel's cousin. But anyway, he... um. Try to protect Gapriong, just like Jin Young Park tried to protect Gapriong. They all both failed. And now he is in Daniel's possession and trying to tell Daniel to accomplish the mission that he never was able to do, which was, you know, avenge uh, Gapriong's death or maybe avenge his death and get revenge on Charles Choi because that guy is one evil MF. Okay. Did I cook or not? 
Uh, it's it's definitely interesting, but it's like we have all these theories, but like not enough evidence to kind of support them, right? Uh, so it would be cool though. Yeah, it definitely would be cool. A lot of these theories sound really nice, but I just honestly, I don't know where Lookism is really going. Uh, but what do you think of people that are saying that Daniel is actually maybe like Jake's brother, right? Because when we saw the shadow over Daniel when he was finding Jin Young looked a lot like Jake's brothers, like Siwet. So what do you think about that? Dude, that just makes no sense narratively, I think. Because wow, they hype up Jake's brother so much just for him to be Daniel's second body the whole time. Like, it doesn't make sense. Because he needs to be a villain, right? He needs to be some guy who poses a threat to the main cast. And also, like, he was also said to have helped, maybe helped James kill Gap Young, right? So if... If they both collaborated to, you know, assassinate this powerful figurehead, then maybe James Lee and Jake's brother are like the two final villains in Lookism. And maybe Jake's brother is on Charles' side, right? And if, but the, the only way this could work is if Daniel loses his second body and then his second body turns evil and then becomes Jake's brother. But I just feel like that's so far-fetched. Yeah, the whole Jake thing is a stretch, especially since like Jake's brother existed before, right? So it's like I don't think he he really has anything to do with the second body. If if anything, I think the second body has to be related to Jin Young and Daniel. Maybe you know it's like I said, it's Jin Young's son. It's uh, Jin Young's dad. It's Jin Young's grandfather. Who knows, Who right? Have the it could be. Yeah, I definitely do think that I the guess second Johan body. Does. Why does Johan have a copy really? Yeah, like it could just be like a very rare genetic trait. And then Johan just happened to get it. But at the same time, I do definitely think that there is some type of family tree relation with Jin Yang, right? Because the second body looks too much like Jin Yang for it to exactly. not have any relation to him. Plus, they both have the copy ability, which I know is kind of like we keep talking about that. But it's too rare of an ability for them not to have any relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, Jin Yang is Daniel's dad. So even more evidence, right? Well, we don't know if it's Daniel's dad. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, it might be. be, but at the same time, I feel like if PTJ does that, like that's so that's such a cliche move, kind of like Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader be like, "I am your father," right? I rather not think yeah, about but, that, honestly. Yeah. It could be though. Well, hopefully, it gets revealed like uh, at the end of this arc. First affiliate arc ends with a heartfelt hug from father and son. It yeah, but like, I'm so sorry for abandoning you and your mother. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go back to the country and you know start working for it to support your college education. Starts giving Daniel's mom back shots. <laughs> Daniel 2.0, his little his little brother comes out next next chapter. We also with That's the copy good. ability. Okay, right, we're, I'm gonna cut that part out. <laughs> so if you think Jin Young is Daniel's dad, who do you think the other guy with the mole in the picture with Jin Young was? If that's not then if that's uh, not Daniel's dad. Maybe his uncle. Yeah, maybe it's the brother of Daniel's dad, which is Jin Young. Because mm -hmm. also, I mean, his mom doesn't want him to know, right? So it could be anyone, honestly. His mom's holding some big secrets out here. Because she yeah. seemed very uncomfortable when Daniel looked at that picture. Like, why was she so uncomfortable? What's she, what's she trying to hide, you know? Yeah, it's pretty crazy how, like, imagine if Daniel's mom really held the secret to this whole mystery. And it's just not telling him for no reason, right? Like... If Daniel's mom would literally just tell him, so this is your dad. Uh, he had a falling out with his brother, this and that. And maybe she even knew about Gabriel and Kim, right? We don't know what Daniel's mom knows. And also his grandmother seemed to recognize Jin Young. Imagine if later in the story we find out that Daniel's mom knew everything and we could have ended this like way earlier. So you think they're brothers, like Jin Young and that guy in the picture? Yeah, I think they definitely are because she said that was Daniel's dad and... Well, at least Daniel said that was his dad. And they have the same last name, which I know is very common for in the Korean culture where a lot of them have the same Park, Lee, and very similar last names. But to be in the same picture, same last name, look very similar. It's it, I don't think it's coincidence. All right. So what I'm saying is Daniel's mom probably had two children, one with the dad and one with the brother. And then Daniel's second body. It's his brother, his half brother, bro. Yeah. Okay. Am I cooking or what? You're not cooking, bro. No, I spoiled it. Yeah. I'm sorry, I spoiled the, the end of the series. His half brother, dude. 
the park lineage will live on. I still don't think that really explains the whole second body not having a soul itself, right? How Daniel was able to switch back and forth. And oh, that yeah, yeah. I really believe that the Jinyong clone theory was like really the top theory in my opinion. But after chapter 470, where Big Daniel kind of mentioned to OG Daniel that Jake's brother is coming to Seoul and also about Charles Choi, like it doesn't know about Jake Skim's brother. So the fact that he's talking about that to OG Daniel really shows that he could have been somebody in the past. So the past three seems a lot, a lot more likely to me, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys like, think in the comments below? VMAT's past theory, big W. Or anime erudite's clone theory. Let us know in that down in the comments. Yeah, anime erudite's clone theory, big L. Nah, W in the chat for clone theory and L in the chat for past theory. We're gonna see which one. You know we we're gonna do? put a. We're gonna put up a poll. Make a po community post. Yes. Community post. V we're gonna put up a poll. But but you have more yeah. subscribers than me, so you're gonna you're just your fans are just gonna yeah. overrun the poll, bro. It's <laughs> It's because you have more it's on your channel right so you have that homeland advantage okay we'll see we'll see what happens all right thanks for watching guys go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already go ahead and check out vmat's channel i'm gonna put the link down in the description and i'm gonna see you guys later